Good morning, it's Dwayne from phoenixtypewriter.com. We're going to demonstrate how to clean typefaces on a manual typewriter or any kind of typewriter that has a basket, type bars and typefaces. Okay, here's an Olympia. I think this is an SM8. Pretty common machine from the 60s, early 70s. This so lid opens up. It's nice. You can see the typefaces here. And with this machine, we're getting a little lucky here because we can actually uh, take this whole lid off. Mechanics trick here. There we go. Take this whole upper lid off. And get full access. Full access in here. It's nice. But if you look closely, these type faces are dirty, dirty. It's gonna focus, but yeah, they're pretty, pretty gunked up. Okay, let's get this camera straightened out here. Machine straightened out. Okay, so a lot of times you can just sit here and wipe these off and pick them and clean them, but we're gonna do the the good job here. We're gonna stick this rag underneath the, the bars. And a lot of typewriters have a, a type stop here. You can take that out if you don't want it to worry about it. But some are more fragile than others. So we're going to stick this rag underneath here and cover these spools and let the bars fall back down. There we go. Okay. So now we got a little catch all. And this covers the keyboard. And we're going to. Take a second rag and put it up here on the top. Make sure the <clears throat> card guide is covered. Because what I'm using on this is the most corrosive, strongest chemical just about that we use. It's lacquer thinner from the paint store. Good stuff. Not from the Walmart or Home Depot, but it's from the automotive paint store. And what we're going to find is a wire brush here somewhere. Got one here around here somewhere. Okay. Wire brush. This one's pretty pretty new. You go through these pretty fast, but simple as pie. Soak on some lacquer thinner liberally. Maybe a little bit of rubbing initially. And then take a corner of this and wipe off the immediate excess, which will be heavy at first. Repeat. It's like shampoo in your hair. Rinse, no, shampoo, rinse, repeat. Okay, I'm gonna wipe some more off. Look how much comes off initially. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. I'm just kind of loosen this stuff up. The more it's, the more it soaks on here, the more it's gonna do its job. Okay, that's pretty good. Wipe it off again with a rag. Right, okay. Well now, I'm gonna wire it again. Get some good action in here. Make sure it gets every angle. Get all that stuff out of those. So it's just pouring out here a little bit. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> All right, now we're gonna hit it with some air. Just a little bit. Repeat. Let me get these suckers shining. That'd be nice. Okay, you can go down here and hit these bars a little bit too with the brush. And if you want, even come in here and hit the segment with it. But make sure this doesn't dry out completely. You want it to keep it wet. You can air it off again. Air down there. I'm gonna do one more time here. And then we're gonna call it good. And everything's getting hot. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Looking pretty shiny down here. 
One more time there. Get down the tight bars in this segment. Just dried right out. Now we're gonna use this stuff I love. This has got special lubricating oil. Just a little bit. In fact, we'll put some on a, a brush here. Like that. And we're just gonna do a little bit down the tight bars. Just a little bit and maybe a little bit in the segment. These are can really run dry, but with this it just leaves a shiny, shiny, shiny coat with a little bit of slight bit of oil. Blow off the excess with the canned air. And that's it. So let's put the uh Let's take a close look at that now. Shiny, shiny, shiny. And uh, and take the rags off. And pull this guy out. And this is soaked with lacquer center, so be careful where you put that. And let's put the type rest back in here. Just like that. Probably could have cleaned that a little bit, but. Yep, that doesn't take very long. So that's how you do tight faces. And so, you know the segment wasn't very dirty, so you know light light cleaning on the segment. But those tight faces are nice now. Okay, we're PhoenixTypeWriter.com, and that's uh, how you do some tight face cleaning on a vintage typewriter. Good day.